everyone, I'm Sarah for Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Windows bookmark, which is an easy bookmark pattern to make and uh, uses easy stitches. Today I'm going to work it in three colors. You're welcome to change that up a little bit if you would like to using one color or more. It's really up to you. I'll be using Patton's Grace yarn, which is a lightweight, mercerized, 100% uh, cotton yarn. I'll be using a gray color, a white color, and a blue color. You're going to need about 40 yards altogether. I'm also going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, 3.5, and uh, a free written pattern for this tutorial can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, so be sure to check the for the link down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to take a look around, check out some of the other free crochet bookmark patterns there and uh, say hello down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Now our bookmark pattern today measures approximately two inches by five and a half inches, excluding the tassel. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and working a foundation chain. If you would like to change the size of your bookmark, you'll simply need a foundation chain with a multiple of three. Today, I'm going to start here with my color A, which is my white, and I'm going to chain 30. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook, and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of your row one, chain three. The chain three counts as a double crochet and you're going to turn your work. For row two, we're going to double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Chain one, and chain another, so chain two, skip the next two stitches, and then double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that, chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining, and then you're going to double crochet into each of the final three stitches. When you come to that, those final stitches, just remember that your chain three counts as a stitch. So I have one double crochet, two, and then double crochet into the top of that chain three. You can then chain three and turn your work. We're now going to work a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Your chain three counts as a stitch, so you're skipping the double crochet that that chain three comes out of. So there's one, two, and three. When you come to the chain two space, you're going to work two double crochet stitches into your chain two space. Double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch and work two double crochets into the next chain two space. Repeat that all the way across 
ending with a double crochet into each of the final three stitches. In your final double crochet stitch, we will be switching to our color B. So at the end of this row three, you can either fasten off and weave in your ends or you're welcome simply to just add on your color B there and chain one and then you can go ahead and fasten off your color A. We're now going to work one round of edging. If you've fastened off completely, you're going to want to join with a slip stitch with your color B at any point here. Um, or you can, as I am going to do here in the video, I'm just going to continue working around. Both will get you uh, the same results. So if you have, as I have, just simply joined your color B into the final stitch, you're going to begin working along this rough edge here first, and you're going to work six single crochet stitches along this rough edge. There's one, two, you're just going to space them out evenly. If you want to add more or less stitches, you're welcome to. Just make note of it so that you can uh, make the same number on the other side. Once you have worked your six stitches, you should be here at your corner stitch. Into your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. Once you've worked your three single crochet stitches, you'll be back around the long edge and you're going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way along your long edge. When you come to your next corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochets into that corner stitch. There's my second one and your third. You're then going to once again work six single crochet stitches down this edge. Again, if you change the number of stitches that you worked on the other side, you're going to want to do the same. That should bring you to your next corner, which is in the top of your chain three into your next corner, work three single crochet stitches. And then that will bring you back to your next long edge. You're simply going to work a single crochet in each of these stitches along this long edge. When you come to your final corner stitch, work three single crochets in your final corner stitch, switching to your color C in that final stitch. Then you can join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. I'm just going to keep working across as I'm almost there. all the way across to your final corner into your corner work three single crochets in your final single crochet we're going to add our color C just as we did before and then join with a slip stitch into this first stitch you're then going to work one more round, chain one, single crochet into that same stitch as joining, and then into each stitch all the way around, working three single crochets into each corner stitch. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch.
Once you have worked that final round of single crochet stitches, you can fasten off and weave in your ends. You're then ready to add a tassel to your bookmark. Now what I did was I cut 10 inch lengths of, lengths of yarn and I cut eight of them here and then one extra one that's a little bit extra long, so uh, maybe 12 to 15 inches. You're then going to take those lengths of yarn and thread them through the end of your bookmark. So I'm just taking my needle here. It's really up to you where you would like to thread them through. Might use that larger gap there, which actually means I don't need to use my needle for the next four. And you're just going to pull them through. You'll want to make sure that they are all fairly even. And you're going to fold them over in half, like so. Then I turned my bookmark upside down. Taking your longer piece of yarn, you're going to draw it under the eight pieces that you've folded over and just uh, tie half a knot up at the base of your bookmark that's going to secure it. You're then just going to simply taking one side, wrap it around several times where you initially tied it on. Let's go one more time. You're then going to hold that one in place and then going in the opposite direction Take your other strand and wrap it around, working in the opposite direction. Once you're happy with how many times you've wrapped it, you'll want to bring them around so they're on opposite sides. Once again, tie a knot up at the base and you'll want to tie it fairly tight because you don't want these strands coming undone. And this time I tied a full knot. You'll then want to tuck your ends in, so um, thread them through your yarn needle, and then just take your yarn needle and tuck it down inside through where you wrapped the thread around. There's one. Do the same. Thread it through your yarn needle and then thread it down through the center of where you've wrapped the yarn around and pull tight. Then taking your yarn or taking your scissors, simply trim your tassel so that they are all about the same length. And that's it. Your windows bookmark is then complete. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, once again, subscribe, take a look at some of the other bookmark patterns there, and I look forward to seeing your finished products. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.